back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get mods. Before we get into today's video, there is going to be some requirements that you're going to need in order to start modding right away. So, I'm going to try to read them as best as I can, but if I miss something, make sure to check the link in the description for the MetaQuest quest linking requirements in the description. So, for your processor, the minimum specification, you're going to need an Intel i5-4590 or an AMD Ryzen 5 1500X or greater. Then, for graphics card, you can see the Jupyter below. Memory is you need at least 8GB of RAM or more. Operating system, Windows 10 or 11, so anything below that will not work. You need one USB port in your computer. It could be USB-C. It just needs something that uh, we could use to plug it in. You could always use AirLink, which uses Wi-Fi, but I would heavily recommend using the link cable. Um, you can find one by Kiwi on Amazon because like, it, you get no lag at all. So I really recommend it. Now, for some GPUs, I'm going to put the picture on this and this side because there's kind of a lot to tell you which ones are going to work with your casting and if those fit you then you are just ready to go it's for laptops and pcs so you can use both now it's time for the tutorial to actually get the mods you'll be able to get mods like the bark mod menu the grill tag shirts mod cosmetics mod which gives you every cosmetic in the game and the mono sandbox mod so the very first thing that you should do before you get Gorilla Tag and everything, you should actually download the MetaQuest Link PC app setup. Once you download it, it should open the MetaQuest app and tell you to link your cable. As you guys can see, I do have my Quest 2 headset linked, but if you don't, then this is what you're supposed to do. You want to click Add Headset, put in your models, you could have the Quest 3, Quest Pro, Quest rift s or whatever so i have a quest 2 so you're gonna press continue so once you select your headset you want to press continue you're gonna see a link cable or air link so if you have a cable you can click uh link cable but if you don't just click air link and later you can uh use link cable so once you do that you're gonna, they're gonna make you plug in your headset and uh it's gonna link it to your computer and then you'll be able to officially cast from your computer to your Oculus. The first thing I would recommend doing is buying the Gorilla Tech game. It is $20, but if you want a mod, honestly, I'd say it's worth it. Now, I, you could download it on Oculus, but I would not recommend because finding the plugins are a bit harder. So if you just want to get a smooth sailing, I would just buy it on Steam. Head to the description of this video and get the Monkey Mod Manager. So this is what you're going to be taken to, but I don't think it's going to change anything. So you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the monkeymindmanager.exe, source code zip, and then the tar.gs or whatever. Anyway, you want to click the monkeymindmanager.exe and download it. Now, once it's in downloads, you actually want to run the exe file. So what you're going to do is open up Monkey Mod Manager. You're probably going to see this menu with a few mods here, but you actually don't want to click anything because any of this here is just going to break your game. None of these work. I promise you I've tested them. They all don't work. You want to head to Utilities. Once you're on Utilities, you should be all good for now, and let's continue the tutorial. Next, you want to find one of my videos. It can be literally anyone. Now, once you're at one of my videos, you actually want to scroll down till you get to my description. In my description, there's this little Discord button. So you click it, and it sends you an invite link to my Discord server. Now, once you click your invite, I'm on my alt account to show you what to do. It should put you in the app or the browser depending on which one you use. Once you're here, you're gonna have a few steps you have to do before you can actually get in. Once you're verified, you wanna go back to the server guide to see what else you have to do. Now, once you're in the server, you wanna scroll up to GTAG Illegal Mods. Once you're here, you're gonna have a bunch of mods for you to choose from. The ones I'd recommend are Yeezy's Camera Mod and Bark. For the, That's the basically the minimum because that's really all you need to get yourself rolling. You're gonna click here and download it. And it's gonna say it's suspicious, but it's not. Trust me because I've used it many times. Once you've downloaded Yeezy's Camera Mod and the Bark Mod Menu, you actually wanna open up Monkey Mod Manager and then click Bepinex Folder. Now you should see a folder for plugins and then you're going to open it. 
So now once you're in here, you want to drag in your Yeezy's camera mod and bark mod menu right into this folder. You also want to head back into the legal mod and download the fixed utila. And once you see this little folder icon, you're going to go back to plugins and drag it right in. That's all you have to do, which I already have it, so it's going to replace it. But that's all you have to do, and then you're all set. Now, once you have all your mods that you want to use installed, make sure to click install slash update. If not, they're not going to work. Status install complete. Now, if this works, then you're going to open Gorilla Tag. If it works, you're going to see this right here, message of the day and here. This means that your camera mod's in place. Now, I'm currently not in the game, but you should see first person, and that's where you can control the camera. Now, I'm pretty sure I covered every step, but if I missed something, I will let you know in the comments, so make sure to check down the comments. If this did work, comment down below if it worked, and if it didn't, comment down below so I can help your problem. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to join my Discord server again for the mods, and, you know, just stop by, because it's a pretty nice place. Peace.